trees are found running through many layers of strata. I have a picture of a 47 foot tall tree running through 40 or 50 million years worth of strata by evolutionist thinking. And yet the tree is standing up, vertical position, petrified. Uh, the simple fact is a worldwide flood, as mentioned in the Bible, would have caused all of the layers of strata in less than a year. Just the earth turning under the moon, the tides would cause two or three or four or five layers every day to be deposited. Mount St. Helens proved that when it erupted in 1980. It blew 600 feet of mud down into the Toodle River and uh, blocked off the Toodle River. The mud dam lasted five days until the river breached over the top and carved out a miniature Grand Canyon in about 30 minutes. The miniature Grand Canyon that it carved out, and I've got plenty of pictures of that, uh, was when they went down into it, they noticed it was all stratified just like Grand Canyon is, all layers of strata. Well, moving water, moving mud automatically sorts particles by density, uh, hydrologic sorting that's called. And so the worldwide flood mentioned in the Bible caused all of the layers of strata that we see and all of the erosion was caused very quickly, or most of the erosion was caused, the Badlands and Grand Canyon, etc., was caused in the first day or so as the floodwaters receded, which is plainly taught in Psalms 104 and Genesis chapter 8. So I believe that the geologic sciences, and I taught earth science for 13 out of my 15 years, the geologic column is absolutely a hoax and a fraud. All of the dating of the geologic column is based on the types of fossils that they find. And yet they date the fossils by the layer that they're found in. It's absolutely circular reasoning. Uh, the fossil, they have index fossils for each layer. And then the fossils are dated by the layer, and the layer is dated by the fossils. Now, I could prove that and document that over and over. That's uh, a classic case of circular reasoning. The geologist looks to the biologist to prove evolution, and the biologist looks back to the geologist and hopes he has proved it. Actually, neither one has proved it. It's simply a, a hoax and a lie, and it's a 20th century myth. Evolution uh, is not science at all and has no business being taught in the science textbook. So, as far as geology, uh, the, the thing that concerns me most, I guess, is the effects that evolution has on our society. This doctrine of evolution, the, the idea that man is the ultimate, we are the God of the universe, has brought us people like Adolf Hitler and Joseph Stalin and Karl Marx and Paul Pott and I could, a host of others that have wreaked havoc on our society because, directly because of their evolutionary thinking. They think man is just an animal and that only the strongest survive and you have to be the most ruthless to make it ahead. And it has, it has brought terrible heartache and suffering to this world and I am of the strong opinion and have dedicated my life to getting evolution out of the public schools. If a person believes evolution is true and they have a certain, certainly they have a right to believe that, but they need to go to start a private school and charge tuition and pay to have people pay to learn that. It is not right to make all of the public pay to have that religion of evolution taught in the public schools. It should be classified as a religion and it should be removed. Any reference of millions of years ago should be removed from the textbooks and should be removed from any state or any tax supported institution. If they're not going to teach all religions, then they should not be allowed to teach that religion. So uh, that's how much time do I have, brother? Um, you have two minutes. Two minutes, okay. Uh, Maximum. You don't have to take it. Oh, I will. I got lots more to say here. Evolution has many faulty assumptions. Number one, they, they assume the world is billions of years old, and it is not. It cannot be billions of years old. Everything is running down. It's, evolution is also based on the assumption that you can get order from chaos. They completely overlook or ignore the question of where did the matter come from? Where did the laws come from? Where did the order come from? Uh, uh, questions like that. They are based on the assumption that we have increasing complexity, that you can go from simple forms to more complex forms. That has never been observed. There is no evidence of any in the fossil record of any animal changing to any other kind of animal. No evidence today and no evidence in the fossil record at all. They are based on the assumption in biological evolution that there are beneficial mutations and yet no one has ever observed one beneficial mutation. There aren't any. Uh, evolution is based on the assumption that similarity proves a common ancestry. Because apes and humans are similar, they conclude we must be, have a common ancestor. I would say similarity proves a common creator just like the Honda Civic and the Honda Accord have some similarities, well that proves they're both made by the same company. It doesn't prove they both evolved from a Chevy. Uh, it's, the argument can go either way. So similarity does not necessarily prove common ancestry. And uh, lastly, uh, the tragic thing is that uh, a large number of scientists today believe that science is the only reality. If it cannot be proven scientifically, it cannot be real. Well, I would submit that we do not, today, we do not know what gravity is. We know what it does, but we don't know what it is. We don't know what light is, and we don't know what magnetism is. And yet we use all three of those all the time. 
They are, they are definitely real, even though we do not understand them. And I say God is just as real, and He did create this world about six or 7,000 years ago. You stated evolution is a doctrine, and I guess you believe that rather than a uh, science. It's a doctrine rather than a science. A, a, I just want to make sure we're yes, sir. stating a, your position properly. A faith or a religion, right, not a science. And it should be thrown out of the public schools, but then your statistics said that both should be taught. That was the Gallup poll said people thought since one is taught, both should be taught equally. It's not fair to have which only one. Which do you prefer? It be totally thrown out or both be taught? I prefer that neither be taught because I think if we forced creation in, then those who believe in evolution that were forced to teach it would only ridicule it. And those who believe in creation, if they were forced to teach evolution, would only ridicule it. So the subject is, is not part of the public school curriculum. should not be. Just make sure to state for the record. I'm, okay. I'm dying in here because um, part of building an audience is controversy. So I... But, um, but I at least want to um, I at least want to state that some of these statements. Um, we'll make sure we had your thinking. Sure. And uh, evolution is a pagan religion. Is that your your belief? Absolutely, yes, sir. It's for thousands of years. That's been a. When did and when did in your estimation when did evolution begin? I mean, when did this when did this teaching of evolution? begin. Uh, in the Garden of Eden, when Satan said to Eve she, should, she would be a god if she followed his instructions, the idea that man is progressing to godhood is, originates in the mind of Satan and it's been here since then. I'm surprised you had, didn't introduce me as Mephistopheles. <laughs> <laughs> or Hitler, right? Uh, well, I don't have a mustache and my German is rather rusty. Just came back from there, yeah. so I... <laughs> uh, tell you what, um, my approach, obviously, uh, is counter to that of my colleague at the other end of the table. Indeed, I do believe that the... Uh, can you all hear me? Uh, I lecture in here usually without a microphone, so I may be talking too loud for some of you up front. I hope not. Uh, but we do have some devices for electronic uh, equipment as well, so I have to speak to two things simultaneously. Um, fundamentally, my position will be that the age of the Earth uh, is unquestionably in the order of 4.6 and probably in another 50 years we'll think 4.7 billion years old, uh, the universe being probably four times older than that. Uh, and that is not to protect the evolutionary theory, that's merely the cumulative converging evidence that leads us to that number. That's neither for or against anything that might be in your Judeo-Christian literature or in that of Buddhism, Taoism, Jainism, or the other religions of the world. In short, science is not just for North American uh, Western society or for this earth. I think we have pretty well proved it by placing people on the moon and negotiating the outer periphery of our solar system which a device however wrong scientists may be about gravity, managed to negotiate the gravitational pull of every body in its way, and it's still reporting back. I think um, the question raised on the radio program about there being no evidence of evolution, I'm not going to take up the financial challenge uh, because basically there is, I'm sure, an unwritten caveat in that challenge that that I will accept in terms of the evidence, um, but um, fundamentally we have evolution going on now and 